In an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, legendary director Wise Hussain, who helmed the first ever Doctor Who story An Unearthly Child, spoke about the time traveller becoming a woman. I'm not really in a position to judge what's happening until one sees the results. So all one can do is say good luck to the journey, the 80-year-old BAFTA winner said about the BBC show, however. Hussain said that he would be definitely tuning in when Jodie Whittaker makes her debut in Doctor Who season 11 later this year and the first female incarnation of the character. He continued, I'll definitely be curious to see how it evolves. It's not just a situation about someone being played by a woman. It's a question of, what's the evolution of the character up till now? Dr. WHO Season 11 release date We've had David Tennant. We've had a lot of people in different perspectives of the character. And to me the amazing thing is that the audience has not only been loyal to the show but it's kind of grown as a result. He admitted that he was amazed at the long-running sci-fi classic's longevity, saying, I think everyone anticipates the transitions. That's probably one of the secrets of the success of the show. Doctor Who was Hussain's launchpad and his first big TV job after graduating from Cambridge University. In fact, his work on An Unearthly Child has earned him a place in the hearts of Doctor Who fans everywhere. For some reason, I'm very happy about it, because I started the whole thing off. I've acquired, I suppose, some sort of place in the history of the show. BBC The Show celebrated its 50th anniversary back in 2013 with the BBC commissioning a docudrama An Adventure in Space and Time, which saw Hussein immortalised by British actor Sasha Darwan portraying him opposite Call the Midwife actress Jessica Rain as Doctor Who producer Verity Lambert. So would he ever go back to the TARDIS and direct one last Doctor Who adventure? Now, that it's changed and all together, I don't know if that's going to be possible. I would love to have been asked but I was never asked. I would have loved to have done some more. Getty BBC Doctor Who led Hussain to direct other BBC and ITV projects as well as feature films, over the course of his career. Which has spanned over 50 years, Hussain has whirled with a multitude of stars from Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor to directing his Cambridge contemporary Sir Ian McKellen. During his career Hussein took on often controversial and taboo subjects from sexuality, race and misogyny in the 70s and the 80s. Long before these topics were discussed more openly in society, Doctor Who through the years the British Film Institute will be honouring him this month with a special retrospective, War is Hussein, breaking through to celebrate his status as Britain's first ever South Asian TV director during the season. The BFI will be screening two of his five films, A Touch of Love, 1969, and The Possession of Joel Delaney, 1972, the latter of which preceded The Exorcist. He admitted that it was tough choosing what to showcase from his huge body of work. Explaining, it was difficult. I mean there were other choices. Hussein added, I thought. Which is going to be more resonant to an audience which is familiar with names? The Institute will be showing a number of his television productions and Hussein will also be discussing his work with broadcaster Samira Ahmed.